Diamond Day, first in the ring for this four-way matchup, Paul. What a great four-way matchup we've got. We've got some of the top cruiserweights PCW Full Throttle has to offer. Absolutely. Diamond Dave, of course, he's been becoming a mainstay of PCW Uncut, our Friday night show, and he is ready to test his medal here on Full Throttle. And here comes one of my favorites of all time at PCW Full Throttle, the mind of wrestling, JT LaMotta. You talk about a learned competitor, JT is it. He studies more than perhaps the entire locker room put together, and not, that is not a slam on them. Oh, not at all, because this guy spends hours upon hours reviewing tapes. And introducing, from Oxford, New York, the mind of wrestling, J.T. Lamada! And of course, all of us coming together on this very special night to help out a young man named Jeffrey. And oh, look out, J.T. hoping to get things started early on Diamond Day, but over the top, oh my God, wow. another hurricane run on the floor. Diamond Dave is ready to make a name for himself here at PCW Full Throttle, and he's starting things off hot and heavy right now, but here comes the essence of excellence, Robert Evans. Indeed, something of a wonder, Winnipeg wonder, in fact, Robert Evans, the essence of excellence. Robert Evans, one of my favorite competitors here at PCW. Indeed, a multiple title holder in his career here in PCW. Here Winnipeg, Manitoba. He's the essence of excellence. Robert Evans! And notice how Robert Evans is going to get right into the fray as we oh go! Oh my god, like a spear through the ropes onto Diamond Dave and JT Lamont. And here comes number four, and this place is going to erupt! What do you mean, going to erupt? You're right, I stand corrected! Starting off with a nuclear bang here on BCW Full Throttle. Four-way contest, four cruiserweights flying all over the place. And fans, if this is the first time ever at PCW, welcome to PCW Full Throttle. You can find this action here each and every week. And now we've got to get the bell rung. Referee Kong for the bell, and this match is going to be officially underway. I knew that name played to be good for something, Paul, and a great drop kick there. Drops off, if you will, by Gigolo James Johnson, and now he's going up top on Evans. Just pounding away, going for the tape, nine punch. Watch what number 10 is. And then Zagiri, and you can hear that one from Dallas to Fort Worth. But here comes the mind of wrestling. Oh, Goodbye, my goodness. Gigolo turned inside out. Indeed, he did. The mind of wrestling, JT LaMotta, is in there now with a Gigolo, and what a backbreaker. Thought he was going to go for a kind of a scoop slam there, but there comes Diamond Dave in with a springboard drop kick off the top rope. Dynamic Diamond Dave, kind of an unknown quantity on PCW, full throttle, but he can really make a name for himself right here and right now. Look at this, a tornado DDT on LaMotta. Spinning and flopping all around the mind of wrestling, but here comes Robert Evans in Seguri. Robert Evans, as agile as anybody you'll ever see in that wrestling ring, and as smart as any of them as well, but Diamond Dave getting out of that and firing in an Enziguri of his own. And now Johnson, springboard, moonsault, off the second rope on Evans, one, two, and Dave pulls him off. Hey, there's no love loss between any of these competitors in this ring because it's all for one, one for all, because there is only going to be one winner in this match. Double drop toe hold on J.T. LaMotta, and now Diamond Dave, and he gives him the gainer, one, two, and look at this, Johnson pulls him off. Hey, somebody's going to win this. It's every man for himself. That's right. It's first pinfall is the winner, so they're going to try to save each other, not necessarily saving each other, but trying to uh, make sure that someone doesn't win. And now Dave and Johnson, oh my goodness, that backfired on him. Johnson ate a boot, Dave over the top rope, and now look at this, double team maneuver by Evans Alamada, double team backbreaker, and let's see if they're gonna do, oh, oh my, dumping him over the top rope onto Diamond Day. I would call this an alliance between the mind of wrestling and the essence of excellence, but don't let it, I bet you it won't last long. No, it won't, these two, and see, oh my goodness, low blow, oh my goodness. Well, that's one of the basic maneuvers of professional wrestling. And now LaMotta, oh, off that top rope onto Dave and Gigolo. A springboard into a crisscross, corkscrew, whatever you want to call it. It was effective nonetheless. 
Indeed it was. And LaMotta, as we mentioned, he studies an awful lot of tape. You're liable to see him pull out moves from 1930 if we're here long enough. Absolutely. He has a textbook that dates back to the 1920s and 1930s. He studies modern wrestling, wrestling from the past. Oh! But I don't know how you would study to prevent that. I don't think so. Diamond Dave is on the top rope, perched and ready to go after somebody. Meanwhile, Robert Evans climbing up to a corner as well. And here goes Diamond Dave, sky high, but hits nothing but Matt. And here comes Robert Evans on top, and he's going to go for that Alpha Flight headbutt, and nobody home. Diamond Dave had that scouted. He moved out of the way, and here's Gigolo James Johnson, the frog elbow, but Evans moving out of the way. And now J.T. LaMotta, he's keeping himself grounded, it looks like, but now he's climbing to the rope himself. Three former PCW World Cruiserweight Champions in this contest, the exception being Diamond Dave, who is up there on that second rope with LaMotta. Let's see what's going to happen between these two now. Oh, he's got him hooked for a superplex, but instead LaMotta, oh my goodness, just twisted around. Twisted around, just drove his taps straight from the back, from the second rope. I tell you what, JT LaMotta, each and every time I see him here at PCW, as he takes the uh, gigolo killer from Robert Evans, just pulls out new manus all the time. And now Gigolo, come, well, held onto that top rope and a drop toe hold into that second rope, and I can tell you what is coming up next. We're, well, we were about to see the, the, the that big kick from the floor from Gigolo James Johnson, and now we see it. Climax. Now we see the climax kick. Climax kick from the Gigolo, the hawk for hire. Robert Evans with a wonder touch, but now the old face from Johnson. Johnson on top, one, two, two and three. The old face does it for Gigolo James Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Hook for Hire, Gigolo James Johnson. Johnson ends up on top, Paul. What a way to start off this special show for Jeffrey Yaws. I can't believe high-flying, fast-paced action. Fans, you haven't seen anything yet. It's Sander, Sanders Claus night here. Deion Sanders later on here at BCW Full Throttle. We are just getting started.